All right, we should be able to make it to the magic box before the end of the full moon. All right, so this one is nine, one, nine, two. way through this door. And down here. There are some very nasty monsters in here, by the way. Um, you want to be very, very careful. These angels, not so much. But if you want to recruit one, they're halfway decent demons. They're like level 20, 21, something like that. So to do I'm just alternating int and stamina until I get both to 10 at this point with my levels boom yep wait what oh okay I misread my notes. This one is apparently always empty. The next one has a gem in it. But this That's one of those ones where it's like... Oh, hey, worms. Maybe I'll win a screw lance. I doubt it. I don't think I've ever won a screw lance. That's what I get for opening my, my mouth, you know? So anyway. I might go, I think I'm gonna go back outside and uh, it's this door, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna go back outside and run it down to like a new moon real quick and then we'll go through because I think I can, that's about how long it should take to get to the second magic box. Well, you know, that gives me a weapon for, uh... I might just sell the Screw Lance. Like, because I hate, like, relying on weapons like that, where they're rare drops. <sighs> but I suppose if I really wanted the Screw Lance, um... The thing about the screw lance is I'm going to show you a technique where you can basically, with 100% uh, accuracy, farm any weapon you want. It just costs costs about 2,000 maca per attempt as soon as we get... Let's see, this one is one two, one, three. All right, so now there are actually two paths to this dungeon. There is the short path and there is the long path. That door right there is uh, the, where you put the third code. That is the short path. There is a really, really hard boss at the end of that path that uh, I'm not going to fight. We're going to take the long way around. And we're going to get all the treasures. And we're going to just ignore that boss. That door that's half visible on the right there, that is a Jackio Manor if you need to fuse some demons.
I pretty much always run away from those man-eaters. They are atro atrociously dangerous. The problem with them is they can charm your entire party. In addition to just paralyzing you. I hate running into them too because like when I run away from them, I end up I don't get credit for, you know, any of the other battles that I, I came across you know, before I fought them. It's slightly irritating. So, uh, in addition to the, uh, what is it, the, uh, man-eaters, there is, what is the other one, it's, uh, it's another, it's the next type of angel, there are, uh, they are really, really, really dangerous as well. I feel like they're making uh, these man-eaters spawn on purpose to rob me of my experience and money. Okay. Good. I'm gonna have to start killing them, trying to kill the man-eaters at some point. Because I don't want to run out of mag. That door right there is actually a uh, dead end at this point. I want to see if I can can't take a small group of them anyway. I might be able to. Hey, more worms. Am I going to get another screw lance? I swear to god, I've never won a screw lance before. I've even tried to farm them. Like during my first test run of the game, I sat there for 45 minutes trying to farm a screw lance and I was like, man, this is not worth it. Got an intelligence incense. So that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and use that. All right. Almost, the magic box is in that room right there. Ooh, that's a nice bit of mag. That's that's gonna come in handy. These guys, archangels, they can be very, very vicious. So we want to actually attack them slowly. They don't seem to be, uh, they're not immune to bullets at least, but they seem to be resistant to the sleep, which is one of the reasons why they're so dangerous. I try also tried the Randy shot, it didn't seem to do any better. But that Hama spell is why they are so dangerous, it can just basically outright kill you. So, at this point, let's just auto battle. They also have a lot of hit points. So. But they're worth a lot of experience, if I remember correctly. So I want to go ahead and try and kill them. It's not the end of the world if somebody dies, I don't have to back out or anything, because as long as it's not Kakiru Hime, I'm good. I'd rather Aleph also not die, but it looks like we're good. It's 
that sleep coming through for me on the clutch. Nice. We'll go ahead and just use this. Not bad, not bad. Metal cards. I need to empty my inventory of those at some point soon. Uh, where am I at? I th think both of these doors go the same place. No, they don't. Oh, I don't want I don't want you to use all your MP. I got to take her off of uh Dear Rahan. Guns. <sighs> not too bad. Yeah, the nightmare is not hard. They do, they can put you to sleep, though, I think. I'll make it to the... Yeah, I should be able to make it on the full moon, because it's just right down the hall here. Got another stamina incense. Awesome. More worms. I will say that I was not planning on having a screw lance, although it will make uh, auto uh, random battles even easier than they already are going to be. That door has nothing in it. This room right here is the one with the magic box. The status inflicting bullets in this game are... You know what? I'm going to go for it. They are amazingly good. Do you have any good extra attacks? Let's try sound wave on them. Ooh, that's not too bad. Well, let's just sword, attack, attack, extra. I do remember Soundwave is a pretty good way to keep the Maneaters locked down. The problem is she doesn't have a whole lot of MP to support uh, doing that long term. So... But I think we have enough, like, physical firepower with all these good demons where we can take on groups of, small groups of the man-eaters. Still probably not going to bother fighting large groups of them, because they do take a lot of resources to fight. But, uh, got an opal. That's nice. So, how many gems do I actually have? You view that on the status menu. 
So, the gems, like I said, are not in your actual inventory. They're here on your status screen. Uh, when you get nine of a certain kind of gem, uh, you get a status boost. Each one of the gems has a different, like, boost that they'll give you. So, that's pretty nice. Go in this door right here. 